I'm Bob and I like to make stuff. Today we're going to make a seat that helps you get better at stuff. If you didn't see it, a few weeks ago we made guitars. And one of the reasons I wanted to make my own guitar, even though I have other ones, is I wanted to force myself to play more, to practice. Unfortunately, just having the guitar here is not really doing that. So, I came up with an idea while I was watching the movie Scott Pilgrim recently. Something clicked and I got this idea for making a seat that encourages you to practice something and gives you some feedback on how long you've been practicing. So, came up with this idea and we're gonna try to figure it out right now. I've got a rough plan, but I don't really know all the pieces, so let's head to the whiteboard. So the idea here is that there's gonna be some sort of a stool, a thing you sit on to practice. Now for me, that's gonna be practicing guitar, but it could be, I don't know, doing sign language or uh, learning a new language or whatever you want. A seat where you do the thing. Now, you have to know that you're actually sitting down. So we're gonna put some sort of a sensor on the seat that knows whether you're there or not. And then you have to have another sensor that detects whether you're doing the thing that you are supposed to be doing. And in my case, I need to detect volume. So we're gonna put some sort of a microphone here that's listening, and it'll have a certain volume threshold that it needs to meet before it engages the system. Once both of these things are in play, you are sitting down and you are making noise, it's gonna start listening and counting. And then it's gonna tell that number to some sort of a display. We're gonna make uh, some sort of a progress bar that's on the wall, separate from this, that you can look at to see your progress and practice. So there's several components here that we gotta get together. We need a sensor for the seat, a sensor for the volume, some sort of a display, and something to allow these things to talk to each other. So let's go look at some electronics components. All right, the two sensors I was talking about, I only have one of them yet. The other one isn't here yet. This one is an audio sensor, and this is just looking for a volume threshold, and you can control that threshold with a little set screw right there. It's not recording audio or anything like that. It just is looking for a certain volume, and then that will send a signal out to the module that this is plugged into. The other sensor is gonna be kind of a touch sensor that goes inside of a car seat, and so we're gonna try to integrate that into our stool. Now, these are gonna be plugged into ESP modules. These are really inexpensive Arduino-compatible modules, and they have wide Wi-Fi built onto them. And the reason there's two of them is because we're gonna have one in the seat and the other one in the display. These are cool because I've got some really basic code that has them talking to each other. So the seat will keep track of your progress, make sure you're setting down, make sure you're making noise and all that stuff. And then the one in the display will ask the seat for the current percentage, how long you've been playing. And then once it gets that information back, it can display it. So we have a few things to build here. We've got to hook up all these electronics, we gotta build the sensor and put it in a seat, and we have to build a display. Now we're not gonna go through all the code line by line because honestly I haven't written most of it yet, but I did wanna point out that getting two of these modules to talk to each other doesn't require a lot of work. I found a really good Instructable that gave you the code that you need to get this working, and I got it up here, made some slight modifications to get it working, but this is the one that's acting as the server. This will be the seat and this will be the display. So it's only that much code to get these things talking to each other on your local Wi-Fi network. It's really not that hard. Now we always put our code for our projects on our GitHub, so you can go download them and do whatever you want to with them. We'll put links to this Instructable and that GitHub down in the description. All right, let's actually make some progress here. This is a block that Josh modeled and 3D printed, and we're gonna use this to hold the LEDs on the bottom and on the top. This is gonna be our progress bar, which is gonna look like this. Now, this is not gonna be orange, it's gonna be red. But basically, what I wanna do is make this whole thing as a sign that can go on the wall, and each one of these is gonna get filled up with LED light as your progress goes across. So, we're gonna take this thing, then we're gonna cut out a piece to go on top of it, and then make some stickers for all the black things to go on top of that. Thank you. 
We've got our 3D printed channels for the LEDs. Those are gonna get glued in here on the top and the bottom. And we also need to have a diffusion layer. So I've got a piece of acrylic here and we're just gonna hot glue that on top of it. But we're also gonna peel off this kind of covering on it and just run the sander over it. You can run an orbital sander over acrylic and it will give you a nice even diffusion layer for LEDs. Originally we had scored these lines on the back because I was going to just sand them, but we've kind of changed directions. So we still got these score marks on the back side, but I wanted to pull this off just to show you an example of how good of a job a simple orbital sander can do creating diffusion on acrylic. So if you look through, like let's hold it up to a light and you can see the difference between the clear unsanded and then the sanded area, it's nice and even and diffuses it pretty well. This is a replacement seat sensor like goes in your car and this tells whether you're in the seat or not so the airbag won't go off if you're not sitting there and it reminds you to put your seatbelt on. So I've got this thing hooked up to the ESP module and then our sound sensor down here. So basically once you're sitting down I've got a little light there that pops on to tell whether you're sitting or not. That gives us an indication and once you are sitting down you start making noise and it's going to start tracking that. It's going to add up the time that you are making noise against the time that I've preset for practice, which in this case is just 30 seconds. And as you get through that sound, it's going to start to create light over here on our indicator. And as you add that sound up, it's going to add more lights to the indicator and they'll kind of fade in as we go. <laughs> now, if you stop making sound, but you're still setting down, it's waiting for you. But if you get up off the seat, it starts counting down and your progress starts to go away. So then you need to sit back down and get back to it. So now we gotta take this part of it and put it in a seat and then this part and put it in a sign and then we can really try it out. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. You probably have heard of Skillshare before, but in case you haven't, it's an awesome community of online learners that has thousands of courses covering tons of different types of subjects, pretty much anything you can imagine. Here in the office, we're all musicians. So one of the common things that we've been talking about is improvising and learning to play with other people. Well, there's an awesome course called the Intro to Improvisation, Fundamentals of Creating Music on the Spots. This is by Charles Cornell, and it's fantastic. But even if music's not your thing, maybe you want to learn how to write a book or cook a certain type of food or learn graphic design or photography or videography or tons of other stuff, there's absolutely a course on Skillshare that can help you do that. Skillshare has given us a new fantastic deal to pass along to you and this applies whether or not you've ever had a Skillshare trial. If you're one of the first thousand people to hit the link down in the description, you get 30% off a premium membership. It's a huge amount of learning. You can watch as many courses as you want. It's fantastic. Hit that link. Go check them out. Big thanks to Skillshare. Let's get back to it. Now, obviously this is not a really, you know, correct job of upholstering something. I'm really just trying to make sure that I can get this thing covered. Uh, if you wanted something more permanent, duct tape and hot glue is probably not the way to go. So here are the two components. We've got the seat and the display. I've got the code in here only waiting for about 30 seconds of actual playing of making noise just so we can test it out. So let's go get this set up, and give it a shot. The cool thing about a project like this is that you could swap the parts to make it do something totally different. Maybe meditation or silence is important to you. You could use this same sound sensor to only measure how long you're quiet. 
Or maybe you want to know how long you've been sitting in a seat to remind you to get up every once in a while. You could totally swap out the sensor or you could swap out the display. Maybe instead of lighting up LEDs, it makes a sound to let you know. But the point is, you could take this same idea and customize it for yourself by swapping out the components. So I've got a little question for you. We are considering putting together some kits for projects like this to sell. If that's something that is interesting to you, we've got a form down in the description. Hit that link, give us some feedback. We would love to hear it. If this project gave you an idea for something similar or something totally different, I would love to hear about it down in the comments. We've also got tons of other types of projects that you may want to check out. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to do that as well. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I've got an idea how to put this together, so let's go to the computer and look at some com God, oh, I ran out of breath. So we've got our 3D print, the 3D paper, paper, there's my mic. It should turn the fasten seatbelt sign. It's not fastened, that's in a plane. Ow! <laughs> Whoa, did Whoa. you see that? <laughs>